Okay, next uh, I want to connect that plane shape target to corresponding the rotation of this uh, controller. So I'm going to use a set driven key. Go here under key. Key, set driven key, set. And I'll put that controller to the driver and uh, put my base plane shape which is going to be here you have to select the plane shape one here from the input to put it into the drive driven uh, object here so click that and you can see that there's going to be plane shape showing up here and connect the well what is it rotate X with uh, the targets so set a key and when my controller rotate X is set to positive 45, set my target to, to 0 and maybe the target 1 have to be 1, set a key. And next, when my rotation is going to be rotating to the other side, you can go back to the plane shape 1 and set my target 2 to 0 and target 3 to 1. And set a key. So uh, and uh, finally, before you uh, to test it out, go select the plane shape and window animation editor, graph editor, and make sure that the line here is uh, set to a uh, linear tangent. If yours are set to uh, like a uh, auto chan tangent, then um, make sure to change it to linear, and then. <laughs> check it out if it works so when you start rotating this it's going to follow the the track the the wheel here okay good uh next what i want to do is next thing is going to be the lower here when i when i move my lower when i shift my lower i want my geometry the tank tread to rotate so uh, you can test it out by selecting the geometry and rotate this and uh, this is going to be rotate X. So why don't we connect that too? So here for the driven object, uh, select the geometry, click here the load driven and this is going to be connected with lower have to connect with the rotate X. Uh, you can do this or maybe more simpler way what you can do here is go here window. Uh, and um, generator connection editor and uh, I personally like to use this one so select the curve the controller put it to the left side select the geometry put it to the right and there is going to be the lower that I created and connect it to the rotate X here rotate X so now if I select this and if I start rolling this, it's going to start rotating this. And okay, finally what we want to do is we want this to be uh, uh, rolling together, spinning with the tank tread. So I'm going to use a set driven key for that. So select this controller, yeah, that which is going to and make sure that this is going to be set to zero. And for the driven object, I'm going to select those two cylinder here, which is going to be the same rotation going on because they have the, uh, the same size. And make sure, double check what is rotating. This is going to be rotate Y. So uh, select the rotate Y here and set a key. And uh, you can by the way, you can do this as an expression or a, a script to measure out exactly what number is going to rotate. Uh, but I'm not going to cover that for this uh, lesson. I'll just uh, I measure it uh, using the set driven key. So go to the side view. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shift my controller select my controller and I'm going to select my lower and then what I'm going to do is 
for example, I want this tank thread to move one unit to the uh, uh, I, I'm going to move this to one one space here, okay? And you can just measure the space angle here. So how you can measure it is there's going to be how many yeah uh, make sure that how many triangles you have here for this cylinder and just divide it to 360. So it's so one of those triangle here, the angle here is going to be uh, this one here. The angle here is going to be 18th. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just select the controller lower and move it one space from here to here. And then uh, for the cylinder, both are going to rotate minus 18 okay so one space from here to here is going to be 18 degrees so I'm going to put that in here and set a key and go to window animation editor graph editor and if you go and go under the view infinity you can see that it's going to be linear it's going to be just flat uh, horizontal line so I'm going to make that as a, a slanted line, continuous line. So go here, cycle with offset, curves, post infinity, post infinity, cycle with offset. So now let's check it out. Select the controller, rule it, and see if it is matching with my cylinder rotation. Okay, good. Set this back to zero. The same thing goes with the small uh, cylinder here. Select those two, put it as a driven object. And uh, this is going to be rotate Y. So connect the rotate Y and make sure this is set to zero and set a key. And the same thing here when my roar is moving one space. So you can just I measure one of those uh, tank tread here and then uh, move it one space here to the other side. Like, let me see. Yeah, it's going to move around here. When that is moving to the left, this is going to move one space to the left. It's going to be negative uh, 18th and set a key. The same thing goes here. Window animation editor, graph editor, and make sure those two lines are going to be continuously uh, slanted. Uh, post infinity cycle with offset. So now, if I select my controller and if I start rolling this, they are going to move together with the the tank tread rotate together and while this is rotating you can even rotate the rotate X to make that shape and by the way uh, if you want to be more accurately correct like there are some times that the cylinder is going to come out pop out from the tank tread then what you have to do is you have to add more target uh, curves controllers and use a uh, you, you have to add a blend shape. There's going to be, I think there is a edit blend shape. You have to do this add blend shape to correct this part. Uh, I'm not going to, because of the time, I'm not going to deal with too many things here. So uh, yeah, this is simply, you can create a tank tread with a wire deformer.